Hey, what is going on guys? Prevised here. So it's been about three days since I made a tutorial, so I just want to bring a, another tutorial to you guys. Um, don't mind the GUIs. Um, I'm going to show you uh, what it is. Uh, now, the GUIs are very simple, of course. Um, like, very simple to, to design. Um, but it was like a little contest between one of my friends and me. I made this one over here. Um, I believe it does work uh, for if another player would join. Now, the reason why does this thing is because clips descended is false um, I think it's false but anyways the what I'm gonna be teaching you is how to make a, a swing so let me show you guys how that works um, I'm going to disable this base plate spinning thing yeah this is the code if y'all want to make a base plate a base plate spin it's in a local script and start as UI all right, I'm gonna disable it, and I'll show you guys. Um, now this uses. <clears throat> let's just go over what it uses. Oh my God, lag! All right. So it uses how it works is <clears throat> add these anchored parts, as you can see where my mouse is going. But this center piece, I have a part right here, and then another part right here. Now these are those are anchored, anchored those two. But I also have a middle part. Now this one is not anchored. This middle one is not anchored. It, it's attached because it has hinges so it has a hinge right here <clears throat> connecting these two and it has a hinge right here connecting these two um, so a hinge allows you to like it would allow you to make you go back and forth so like if I press S as you can see how I uh, kinda went back if I press W S W S now this is a scripting tutorial it's uh, showing you guys how to use the constraints and uh, scripting also it's pretty neat now you don't have to use this with springs you don't at all it will work pretty much the same without springs but springs adds it uh, gives it a little bounce whenever you go it just gives you a little bounce to go up and down now <clears throat> um, there is a problem it's not really a big problem but as you can see okay I hate the camera movement alright I'm gonna just get a little spin Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sorry for the cringe, but yeah, that's amazing. Jump, just jump off, you know? Heck yeah. But anyways, it springs. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's crazy. Um, now, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this. So anyways, <clears throat> let's start off with a cylinder. So, you know, you make your cylinder. All right. Now, let's go to point twenty. Just kind of design. Now, this is going to be a very simple swing set, of course. Um, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? Alright, if you guys didn't join my Discord, <clears throat> I think you should. Um, I'll leave a link in, in the description to join my Discord. <clears throat> now, it is a fan group, but there's a good bit of dev Roblox developers in there from uh, forums that I posted and stuff. Um, so, if you ever have help, if you ever need help with scripting, there is a uh, channel called uh, hashtag scripting hope or whatever. <clears throat> Anyways, <clears throat> alright, so as you can see, there's a middle part. Now we go to create and we get the hinge. Right. Now I would stay on point two and just select first, select the outer part, and then you select the inner part. Same with uh, over here, select the outer part and select the inner part. Alright, now you select this middle part and you resize that thing. There we go. So this part is now able to spin. Now, um, <clears throat> all right. Now to make the, all right. So I don't know if you guys would want springs, or what, um. But l let's let's do it without springs. Let's do it without springs. Now, if you want springs, all you have to do is, um, you know, you just select this, press spring, select there, and select up there. And then uh, you change, I would recommend changing the stiffness to maybe 10,000 and change the dampening to 10. 
and uh, that's how that's how it was on mine. Uh, and the free length to maybe like 0.3. <clears throat> so we're gonna do it without springs though. All right. So now we're gonna be using weld. So uh, go in plugins, manage plugins, and then find plugin. Um, oh, I could just go here. Um, All right, guys, I'm back. All right, so the plugin you want is the Motor 6D Maker by the Nexus Avenger. <clears throat> this is the one you want. Um, now it should look like with these three buttons. Now how to use it is um, just first off, what you want to do is position your your rod thing for the the it. I would use rope constraints, but those they mess up and yeah just not what you want uh, now as you can see if you want it even thinner what you would do is right click <coughs> insert object special mesh go to mesh find cylinder <coughs> change scale to uh, 0.2 0.2 0.2 um, 0 0.2 I'm just kind of mess around change this to one alright so over here on the x-axis uh, but you guys might want to mess mess around because it might be different for you with the X and Y. So the as you see, the, the Y axis is like this from up and down, but it's on the X axis. So yeah, it's kind of different. Just mess around. So you know one one of these would need to be one. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And you can uh, change the thickness. So the thickness for me would be this. So point three is good. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy. Now don't get it exactly on this uh, green dot, the constraint part. Um, you don't want to do that, <clears throat> just so it's connected to the hinge. Now what we're gonna do is weld it. So press create welds. Select the main part, the R part zero. Press done, and then while and just keep holding control. Yeah, control. Um, and then done, then close, and then there you go. You have it welded. All right, now we're going to create a seat. So right click on workspace, insert part or object, and look for a seat right here. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. Good enough. You guys can edit whatever. Okay. No, nah, okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why I like doing this. I just said good enough, but then it's like I really want to do this. <laughs> I just want to make it kind of a little more nice. Anyways, all right. So what we can just do is just group it all. Control G to group. Okay, that is a very high C. Oh, my goodness. We got to bring that down some. Um, now, this might, now resizing might break the welds. Um, now, if it does break the welds, which I'm about to check up on that. Uh, then you have to reweld it. Yeah, it broke the welds. All right. So anytime you resize something that has been welded, you uh, <clears throat> always want to reweld. Uh, anytime, what, yeah, whatever. All right. So to select, as you can see, if we select it's a model. Um, now to get inside, to select something inside the model, hold Alt and just click. Bang. Hold Alt and Control, and then you click done close bang all right now we're going to weld this okay so um so let's create weld so the main part now what we want is the c to be the main part so hold alt done then alt, alt and control boom bang dang boom yeah all right let's press play okay um i guess i forgot to anchor uh, so let's Alright, so let's anchor, let's just watch out what we anchor, or just anchor these parts. Um, don't anchor the inner part or these other parts, so anchor bang. Boom, bang, dang. Alright. Okay. Bang. Cool, as you can see, it's us seen it swing a little, but we need the scripting side to it. What I'm just going to do to save time, because I see it's getting kind of long. Um, this is a very basic script that I made. Um, <clears throat> it's very basic. Alright, 
So we're gonna need a body thrust. So we're gonna right click, insert object, body thrust. Okay, yeah, I don't know why I'm okay. In the C, insert object, body thrust, body thrust, body thrust, right here. Okay, now the body thrust is just gonna give it like force. So we're gonna be uh, using this. Um, we're not we're using the force part not the location so just keep it at all zeros for now yeah all right so i'm going to insert the scripts inside of the vehicle seat so you know just right click insert object then you find the scripts um now inside the script you're going to right click on it insert object and then find the local script which looks like this um so here's the script the server script all right so what it's saying is whenever you touch it uh which is script dot parent because a seat is like a part and a seat does have the event of touched so whenever you touch then it finds the player so it goes in game then it goes in players and it gets this is a function called get player from character so it's gonna get the player inside of players which is your player then um, it's gonna get the character now which is hit dot parent because whatever if your right arm touches or if your leg touches it it's gonna get the parent of the leg which should be your character so that's what that does it just gets the player and game of players <clears throat> now right here we just make an if statement uh, checking if hit like I said if it's the, your left leg then it gets the parent but then if the character has the humanoid some excuse me something called humanoid and it can get which can saying can get is the same thing as and can get is equal to true but we simply just say and can get which can get is true so it's gonna run if you know these two statements make the requirements then we change can get equals false and then we uh, clone the local script so um, now this is a uh, just a very quick tutorial now I could have added now this might only run once to be honest no, I'm gonna play right quick cause I have a feeling this is only gonna run once sweet 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 oh no maybe not wait I don't know yeah the, these springs are oh maybe nope maybe it runs again I don't know anyways anyways anyway anyways Oh yeah, it's, yeah, because you already have the local script. I'm all right. I'm tripping. Oh, uh, all right. So we go script. So this is the script right here because we're so it, script dot local script, and then it calls the clone function, and then it sets the clone version parent to player dot backpack. Remember, players right here, and then it gets the backpack. All right, let's move on to the local script. So seat equals workspace dot swing dot seat. Um. <laughs> Um, that's how it was in this, but if you were making the model, what you would do is, okay, let's just name it swing set, okay? Now, ignore this swing right here. Okay, so we're, we were in the local script right here. So workspace dot swing set is what you would, ooh, I spelled that wrong. Swing, swing set, because that's, that's your model name. So workspace dot swing set dot Vehicle, as you can see, I have vehicle seat. So since we're using a seat, I, w I am using a vehicle seat in the other one, which I should not have, but uh, just do seat. Uh, seat, that is whatever the name is right here. UIS equals <clears throat> game get service. U user input service is just a service. It, uh, it's pretty much for like input and stuff like on your keyboard or your mouse. So UIS, UIS has an event called input began. It's just whenever we interact with the keyboard. Uh, then input is a parameter so if input that key code I'm just trying to hurry up a little bit uh, so if the inputs key code because every character on the keyboard has a key code which is like a piece of code you know um, is equal to enum uh, dot key code dot w so that's pretty much saying whenever we click on uh, press on w then it's gonna run this so C which is C this is that dot body thrust so it's gonna go inside C body thrust right here and it's gonna set the force because that's what dot force is to vector three. Now, what is vector three? Vector three is it just pretty much holds um, three values. As you can see, uh, if we wanted to set the location, we would do body thrust dot location equals vector three because it holds three values. 
Vector 3 is used for positioning and size and things that have three values. Now, if it's, some, if it's an object that holds two values, um, it would use vector2.new. Or if it's a GUI, udim2.new. You know. So we set it to negative 400. Now, you might want to mess around depending... Keep in mind, depending on how your your swing set is rotated, um, you might have to place the negative 400 uh, somewhere else. Now, how did I figure out? Sorry, figure it out. Um, if you go to <clears throat> if you go to view, I think it is. Yeah, and enable display axis. You'll see this little thing at the bottom. Um, now, what is if you rotate? As you can see, it rotates also. Now, how I figured it out is how my swing set is positioned. I want the front to be considered this way, like over here. Um, plus, that's the way I'm sitting down. Now, if you want to sit a diff, if if you guys are like sitting the wrong way, you know, you just rotate it, hold the green, and then just rotate it. But you might have to do some rewelding. Um, now, as you can see. The green Y is positive. The X is positive going backwards behind my camera. And then the positive Z is going to the left side. Now, as I said, I want to go this way whenever I press W. So that would mean set the force to a negative number. So the negative of Z. So this means X. This means Y. This means Z. And then 400 is just a number that I played around with. And then if I want to press the S, I go to 400 which is this way that means I go back because you know I'm face like this so anyways uh, it's a pretty long tutorial I didn't expect it to be that long um, but that's pretty much it so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, please like and subscribe peace out